Hi guys, welcome to the short video about what you can do when you get this VC runtime 140 uh, DLL error. This can happen with different apps. It doesn't have to be connected with the app which you want to use or install here in this case i've tried to install ruffle.exe which is some kind of replacement for the flash player and when i started this for the first time i got this error so this is actually just a problem with the visual c plus plus environment uh, which should be available in the background but it's not something which is microsoft is installing when you install windows 10 so you have to do this on your own over time if you are using this and sometimes you are not aware of that you need that just some programs uh, are using that i mean it's a very common very good uh, solid infrastructure which is provided by Microsoft for free and a uh, lot of programs are relying on that and they think okay it's it's everywhere available but it's not and when uh, there's something missing or the whole thing then it can throw such errors uh, there are some solutions in the web uh, promoting that you can just do download this uh, file here and they put this on a server and then you can download but you have no idea what you're downloading it could be a virus so it's much better when you go to the original website from Microsoft I'll put down the link to this website into the description so you can just click on that and go down here and make sure you find the correct environment which you need most of the computers with Windows 10 these days will need the second one that's the x64 version so this one but of course this one should also work with 64 bits but th this is much uh, faster much better uh, for most of the PCs so you can see the full page this is what you need unfortunately it's a little bit difficult to find sometimes but it's definitely for free so you can really just click on this here and then uh, run this installation on your pc and then you have to reboot and after that you can use the program which you want to use or install it and then it shouldn't come up with this uh, error message again so that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.